So what I learned here in DC is that the sky is not the limit. The limit is what you decide. You decide your limits. It made me realize so many things about myself, about my weaknesses, about my strengths. Like, I am not the person that I thought I was. This whole experience has changed me for the better. I've had access to the opportunity to work with multiple professionals who have allowed me to learn different skill sets that I can take with me to the professional world. Opportunity to change my community, the opportunity to connect to other inspiring individuals, and the opportunity of becoming a better leader. Being in D.C. this summer has given me the access to a plethora of people, resources, and knowledge that I really wouldn't have gained had I stayed in Florida this summer. Being with the Washington Center gave me an opportunity. The second that I had access to an opportunity, I took it to represent those who had given me the opportunity and to share that opportunity with those who will come after me. I come from a very small town, so getting to live the city life and learn about professionalism where it's a very big aspect of life and just see the large scale of things rather than the very small scale I have at home. For example, I'd never seen a metro, ridden a metro, and so the first time I rode the metro, I was a little terrified. Second time, I thought I was gonna die. But I've slowly gotten more used to it, but that's something I never would have experienced at home. I think it was um, beginning of April, so when I was like two months in, they asked me if I wanted to start full-time working at Mapbox, and I always told myself that if they did, I would just like take the chance and move to DC, leave everything in Belgium. So that's what I did two months ago, and it has changed my life drastically, but in a good way. Through the Washington Center and working here at 826 DC, uh, I've really seen myself grow as an individual. Since I've been here, uh, one of the first things I noticed was the identity of the Museum of Natural History was it's the place between the chicken store and the frozen yogurt shop. One of my main focuses was to try to get people to come into the store, into the shop, and really take an understanding of what it is that we do here. Being a businessman at heart, I really getting an opportunity to work here at A26DC and utilize all of the business practices and small business things that I've learned through my university and academic career has really been something that will stay with me for the rest of my life. Personally, I feel that the civic engagement takes one thing that you're really interested in and you think that you know, but then it gives it a complete different outlook. So I've been able to impact their lives by teaching them how to acquire these skills, but actually, personally, they're knowing my story, they're knowing that I can relate to them because I'm an immigrant myself. It's about finding the answers to that interest and actually empowering you to, okay, you wanna, you're interested in immigration, what can you do as a student, what can you do as an individual to impact the cause? So I think it's a really important component. It wouldn't be a complete experience without it. The wonderful experiences and the memories that I made here in DC is something that I'll never forget and I'll always cherish for the rest of my life. But it was because of that specific donor that took from her resources to give to somebody that she doesn't know so that, that individual could grow. It's truly really something to admire. The first thing I would say to that person is that thank you is never enough thank you is not enough. That the only thing I can probably do is to just move forward with my life and to show that individual that because of you, I am where I am today. And that maybe one day, thank you can be enough. I was surrounded by so many individuals from so many cultures that I'd never been to or never heard of. I was surrounded by people with different interests, different passions. And what it did was it helped me to grow not by changing who I was, but by reaffirming my own passions, by reaffirming my own journey. But what I know is that none of it would have ever happened without that scholarship. And I don't know how to repay someone. All I know is that I wanted to make them proud, even if they never knew who I was, even if they never knew where their money went. I knew it. I didn't know who, but I knew that that scholarship changed my life. And I never took it for granted.